Yo, what's up, buggers? Welcome to another episode of uh, Cap Gingerbread Kayak Fishing. Uh, this is another video without fish, but there's going to be a helpful one with all of you guys that's got a stealth or any other kayak out there that uh, has got a double hull. Obviously, the legend kayak, as you can see, it's got a piece there that you just uh, easy to put the transducer on. But the stealth kayaks is nothing like that. So you either have to stick something underneath or make a contraption that goes on the side or what we're going to show you now so now obviously being with a new pro fisher it's got the the live well so now there's a wall here we used to install it underneath this piece here there. now what are you going to do oh there's actually blood on okay. i'm surprised we are going to cut through this little piece here you can see it's quite flimsy nice and gently we're going to install that uh, four inch fish hatch lid bloody plain what you do is you take this lid off and you'll measure this piece right so you put that fuss and you put a marker around there then you cut that then it fits perfectly Right, so we found a place. Usually you gotta clean it, but it doesn't matter. So it's here, just above the bend. Put it like there. Yeah, marking. Oh, let's put it roughly there. There we go. Just make a nice little hole. Shakes there. Jeez, my art teacher would be proud. That's perfect. You gotta go very gently that you don't go through the hull, the hull of the kite. Alrighty. Okay, so going alright. So you just keep drilling those holes, and I'll show you next what you do. That's for later, and for now, a little blade. So now you got your hole. Take a blade. Very gently, you're gonna cut through. You start cutting uh, around. You go through. If you are stuck, like in some pieces with these big gaps, just draw another hole. If you're not too comfortable sewing by hand the whole time, yeah. And then you sand it off. Alright, buggers. After 33 hours of um, cutting this thingy, it is finally open. So as you can check, all you gotta do is just sand these pieces. Then you gotta clean the stuff the sawdust and also on the inside as well you gotta clean it but honestly vacuum up the dust first then use a little lightly damp cloth to clean uh, so obviously you can do both sides and uh, then use a dry cloth at the end just to uh, dry it up yeah, just sand it nice and gently as you can see I didn't cut perfectly on that side so I'm just gonna sand it a little bit more then we'll test it then we'll clean it and then we'll put everything in let's check why do not actually have to use marine silicone but obviously just to see the check out. There, on. There we go. Just gotta sand it a little bit more. Beautiful. No need to screw anything in because you're gonna use marine silicone. Okay, sorry buggers, I got a bit carried away there. Um, so I've cut the hole, sanded the hole. I've already put the transducer in using the marine silicone. Okay. But the thing is, is you've got to put enough layer on there, make sure there's no bubbles, air bubbles in it. And then what you do, you make sure that it's flat. I'll show you now, I'll take the camera in there. You make sure it's flat, as flat as you can get. Put the marine silicone on and you just press it down. Whatever air bubbles there is, it should go away. Don't press too hard, because if you press too hard, it's going to come back up. Off the bottom, it's going to make a big air bubble. Then your readings are going to be bad. So take a look here, this is how it should look. Let's see if we can get in there. I don't think there's much light. But yeah, basically that's it. This piece, you're gonna take this off. You're gonna drill a hole through this piece here for your cable, for your transducer. So we need to keep those cables fuss from getting pulled out by fish or maybe you take out an anchor or a gaff, whatever. So we're gonna stop that from uh, getting pulled out. These little things come in handy. Cable tie clips. As I said, take that sticky part off. Once it's off, you just measure it up. I dig putting it like one there and then one here. 
but uh, it's not necessary for this one. So you put it there, your epoxy it on, nice and hard. I'll do one for each uh, of the cable, just so it's less stress on these things. What some guys do is they actually get like a big washer sort of thing or a piece of metal and they put it across here and they put the cables underneath which works bloody well. And then basically that's it. Um, just gonna get a battery box and then uh, do the cable lugs here so this stuff doesn't pull out. But um, that's it. Anyways buggers, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do get bored, watch one of the old videos. Don't forget also to follow on Instagram and Facebook as well. Um, Instagram's always got those funny stories going up as well and cool posts. Cheers!